Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we'll be talking about why it's such a hot time for mergers and acquisitions. We'll be talking to an industry expert just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, if you remember uh, more than a year ago, during the height of COVID, everything just froze. People who were thinking about doing deals just were paralyzed by fear just to see how things were going to sort out. Well, it turned out to be one of the best years ever for mergers and acquisitions. To talk about that today, uh, Henry Ennis, he is the managing partner of Trident M&A Advisors. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, Jeff, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. So I, we were talking off camera. You were frankly surprised that uh, 2020 turned out to be such a good year. You know, it was it was kind of crazy. Uh, the, the year started off very well, uh, but very hopeful. We had two deals scheduled to close in the uh, second quarter. Well, of course, everything seized up and, and, and stopped uh, moving forward. Those deals actually came back in the fourth quarter, and we actually closed two deals, uh, both of them on December 30th, uh, with a total enterprise value of about $52 million. So for my firm, it was... Uh, it was the best year we've had, and uh, sort of, sort of uh, comical that it turned out that way. Yeah, and <laughs> you were telling me that you started during a pretty grim time, 2008. Yeah, <laughs> what was so, that like? So my background's always been in, in uh, corporate finance, and so I started uh, tried, and I'd had many years of uh, M&A experience at a publicly held company, and I started tried in 2008, um, right in the middle of the financial crisis. So. Those are some pretty lean years, but uh, we looked at we looked at anything and everything back then, and um, yeah, you know, if you fast forward to uh, to where we are today, we're we're a pretty uh, focused and disciplined uh, investment banking firm. Our clients are in the lower middle market, which are typically ten to hundred million dollars in revenue. Uh, you know, we spend some time with onboarding our clients because. Uh, we're not a volume shop. We truly want to onboard clients we think we can get to close. So uh, that's that's the ultimate in M&A is getting to close. So, you know, we've been blessed beyond measure. And um, and it's also a good thing to be in Texas in this business as well. Absolutely. Well, we found a, a great uh, overview video of your, of your firm. Let's go ahead and roll that now. As a business owner, are you at a crossroads? Is now the time to consider taking some chips off the table through a sale of your business or recapitalization? If you do explore selling your business, are the market conditions favorable? The good news is that Trident can help. Meet Henry Ennis. He founded Trident M&A Advisors in 2008. Back then, we were all facing financial uncertainty, much like we are today. Trident M&A Advisors has a long and successful record of working with business owners to answer these and the hundreds of other questions you will have. For us, M&A is a relationship business, not just a transaction, because we understand that your business is your life's work. Trident M&A Advisors is a boutique investment banking consulting firm based in Dallas, Texas, with offices in the Southeast and the Midwest. We represent business owners who want to explore strategic options for their businesses. We are your quarterback. This could be the sale of all or a part of the business, resulting in a significant liquidity event for you. Are you ready to scale back, maybe pass the business on to the next generation or the management team, or take on a financial partner? Trident can help with the entire spectrum of sell side and buy side possibilities. If you're not ready to sell but see opportunistic market conditions, we could organize a buy-side campaign to grow your business by acquisitions. 
you are a complimentary business. What does it take to prepare, market, and close a transaction? This is all Trident does, so we bring a disciplined and professional approach to deal making. Don't try to do it alone or with someone who has a day job. Leave every detail to the Trident team. Showing a buyer that you've engaged a professional M&A firm demonstrates your seriousness to get the deal done. Buyers appreciate a tight process and it pays off in valuation, structure and terms, and time to close. Who buys a company like yours? Private equity groups, strategic buyers, investment groups, family offices, competitors. A buyer or investor like the ones just mentioned develop an investment thesis to financially and operationally support strong management teams. The goal is to grow the business faster than maybe you could do it yourself. It is a real partnership. Trident has strong relationships with many of the middle market PEGs and our deals often get fast-tracked to their investment committees. The day of closing is sometimes an emotional event for our clients. The culmination of your life's work is realized. Whether you want to ease into retirement or take a reduced role in the firm, fund a favorite philanthropic interest, or maybe establish generational wealth for your family, you did it. That was a great video. Uh, it seems like this process is very mysterious to a lot of <laughs> business owners, they, and, and you really demystify it for them, don't you? Well, we try to because um, you know, all of our clients are very successful business, men and women, and um, but most of them have never done a, a sale, a sales, sell side transaction. So um, there's tons of detail. You know, they're still. We want them still running the business and and making sure it's hitting on all cylinders, so that when we bring buyers in, there's no fall off in the um, in the performance of the company. So yeah, we actually take clients from uh, getting them ready. In some cases, we have to recast financials, uh, tighten up on uh, different management aspects of it. Then we make the market, and what we mean by that is uh, we have relationships with over 150 private equities throughout the country and that are interested in certain types of, of uh, companies. So we'll reach out to them, we'll invite them to, uh, to learn more about the client, and then um, you know, go through the very detailed uh, process of getting them to close. We're gonna put up a slide uh, so people can <clears throat> see that your focus is really, uh, you talk about everything from soup to nuts here, don't you? Well, pr pretty much. The, one, the, the couple of things we don't really focus on is real estate because you, you need a real estate credentials for that and um, um, some, some hospitality. But otherwise, we, we call ourselves a generalist shop. Uh, we've looked at everything from a re reality TV show to a healthcare to technology. Um, and that's one of the reasons I love my job is because every day is, um, you know, it's something different and it's something new. So it's not, it's not mundane at all. So, um, and it's a great time if you're a business owner to consider if, if now's the time to, 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 to sell. Do you find yourself being a therapist sometimes? Because you yeah. know, <laughs> when you're selling a company or acquiring a company, it can be emotional, right? Well, you know, our, one of our words in our tagline is relationships. And it is because uh, you become very, very intimate with the family in the sense, I mean, I've been invited to birthday parties, weddings, what have you, because, um, uh, you know, you, you, this, these are family businesses that have evolved to successful uh, uh, enterprises. And, um, you know, I had one client one night, we were trying to work through a P&L, and she, uh, Henry, you know, I, I forgot to take my blood pressure medicine today. And, and you know, it was kind of just some of those kind of right. things that, uh, that make it, make it the, you know, the human touch to it. You were telling so. me a great story before we started about a, uh, a business owner you worked with in Waco. Right, so um, we ha have had three clients in Waco, and um, this particular client uh, is in the healthcare space and uh, very successful. And um, we, you know, we, we worked with him, he's hi highly educated and, and talented businessman, and we worked with him to take him through the process, and that was actually one of the deals that we, uh, 
we closed on December 30th. And um, it was a successful engagement. I had dinner with them a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they said some very, very nice things about our firm. And, uh, you know, offered to be a, 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 a reference or testimonial if, if we ever need it. So That's wonderful. Yeah, it's very satisfying. You know, the other thing is you become friends with these people. I had a client I closed about two or three years ago. Uh, I don't see him that often, but we kind of have a standing date. We go to the uh, drag races in Ennis uh, once a year. That's so really cool. It, it, it's pretty cool. Now I gotta ask you. You cool. said the drag race in Ennis. Now is that named after your family? <laughs> no, uh, sadly, uh, <laughs> sometimes I claim it when it's to my advantage, but sadly, no. I I think uh, our roots are somewhere in Ireland. Okay. So well, you've been a great <laughs> guest, uh, Henry. We're gonna have to have you back soon. We're gonna end with the website. It's Trident M hyphen uh, A.com. Uh, right. Henry, thank you so, for, so much for coming on the show. Jeff, thanks for having me. You bet. Thank you. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.